Hola chicos, hola rockers, we are here in the beautiful Chile, Santiago. We have a free day today, so I thought that we're gonna shoot with headlands. A little bit different vlog this time. So I read a lot of comments in, on my YouTube channel and there was plenty of requests that I should explain you how to make a wheelie with a low CC bike. So with my 250 Duke, a standard one, a stock bike, I'm gonna show you how to make a wheelie. I, I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible so you can understand it and try it back at home. Okay, let's go try to make some wheelies. Oh, I forget something really important my gear first safety gear helmet gloves knee protectors chest protector back protector as much as possible to keep you safe you never know when you crash also when you're learning so but we're gonna try to make it safe and second thing really important is to not to practice this on the street but on an empty let's say a parking lot so there is no cars you can crash into it or they crash into you Safety, safety, safety. When you have these two points, then you can continue with the tutorial and learning how to wheel it. So everybody has his own way how to, how to explain how to make a wheelie. So I'm gonna give it the best to try to explain it as easy as possible. So there is one big difference between making a wheelie with a big CC bike and a small CC bike as this 250 Duke here. On the big bikes you have more power for sure and it's easier to pop a wheelie. At the small CC bike there is a little bit more feeling into it and you need to pull a little bit harder when you, when you try to pop a wheelie. So what a lot of stunt riders are doing when they learn first tricks, they usually take a little bit air out out of the tire. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. Also for you important to catch a little bit or have a little bit more balance while learning the wheelie. Okay, I did this by my feeling, but you shouldn't go under 1.0 bar because then the bike gets a little bit too unstable. One of the most important things is the timing. Timing of three things. First, clutch second gas around mid revs and covering the rear brake if something goes wrong and everything you do in the first gear moving slowly and then trying to catch this timing and pull up the bike with the own body weight and do the timing clutch gas and covering the brake so that was in theory so let's go now to the practical side We are now at the exercise popping a wheelie. So we are here trying to catch the moment of pressing the clutch, gas it, releasing the clutch, lean back and make a wheelie. So the typical mistake what usually everybody is doing while, while they're learning wheelies is they are leaning on the front and pulling the bike with the hands, which is not okay. The right way to do is lean a little bit on the back pull up the bike with the own body weight so while clutching up you lean on the back and it's much easier to pick up the bike here you can see i'm pulling the bike with my own hands and leaning on the front but i cannot pick up the front wheel and this is the difference when you sit a little bit back lean back and transform the whole body weight on the back of your bike and clutch it This is what I call step-by-step step popping a wheelie. So this is the safest way, my opinion, how to learn a wheelie. In this process, you're learning the moment when you pull the clutch, rev it in the mid-range and cover the brake. And this point of learning the timing is the most important. Later on also when you're doing a wheelie. And once you learn this, you're gonna always be able to wheelie whichever bike you want. So the next step is already for advanced, let's call stunters. So the next step is catching sweet spot, so-called balance. I'm playing with the gas and catching the balance while wheeling the bike. I'm covering the rear brake just in case I'm gonna gas it too much and I need to bring back the front wheel safely. 
That is what I call a sweet spot. And this is the best spot to be on the bike, I mean. <laughs> what we shouldn't forget is also not only how to make a wheelie and pop a wheelie, but how to also slowly bring back the front wheel down to the asphalt because of two reasons. If you are too fast on the wheelie and you suddenly slam the front wheel, you can lose the control. The front wheel start to wobble and the whole bike and then you fly on the asphalt. And also you can destroy the front fork ceiling and this you also don't want to do it. Yeah, this you're gonna learn by the popping a wheelie exercise. Tutorial vlog done, yeah! I hope I could teach you all the basics in a safe way and I can see now in the future a lot of popping wheelies of my rockers. You know what? Send me some videos of you, how you make wheelies and I'm gonna try to teach you through commenting on your video. You can find the email in the description of this video. Search for it, send me your videos. I'm gonna help to improve your style of how to properly do a wheelie. And that was it of our not really regular vlog. So let's continue now with the regular one. Okay, we are back to regular vlogging. We are here now at KTM Chile store. The reason why we are here tonight is we are launching the new Dukes. So they throw a big party and I'm gonna surprise the people with my little show, a short show. Let's see how this is gonna work. And yeah, let's go talk a little bit with the people and ask them how they like the new Duke. Quick question, quick question. How do you like the new Duke? Uh, it's perfect, yeah. Perfect. The design is very, very beautiful, yeah. Do you like the new design? Yes, yes, totally. Okay. How do you like the new Duke? Thumbs up! Yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay, thumbs up! We have thumbs up! Thanks, are very aggressive, like, so much modern. More, more aggressive, more tough, huh? more aggressive, like Super Duke. Yeah, Super Duke. Very, very good. good, very good. Okay, very good. We have thumbs up. <laughs> what do you say about the new Duke? Filete, compadre! Filete! Primer corte! <laughs> so we have only good uh, comments about the new Duke. Cool to see people are digging the bike. We are working hard like two years to develop these bikes with the guys in development department. They are really working hard on it and to travel now on the other side of the world and see the people are really loving the new design and the new setup and so on. It's really, really motivating and thumbs up to the guys in development department. Rock and roll. Over and out, it's done. Duke has officially launched Chile. 